Hey guys, we are going to do one final, please bear with me, Barbie Parker video. Today I'm going to talk about sunglasses, okay? I'm not thrilled with the pair I have. I'm not convinced that they're the ones for me. But in good news, these ones are the Janes, and I love them. I have heard from people that they do not often agree with my feelings about these glasses, but these ones in particular I am really happy with. I They are comfortable, I like the way they look, and so what more can you say? I got the blue light lenses, they're 50 bucks extra, so it comes out to about 149 for a brand new pair of glasses. As always, make sure to check the inside of the frame when you're doing at home try on to make sure that you are looking at the right pair of glasses. I did have a snafu with that. Now, let me go ahead and get the box. Please pause. Okay, so here it is. Ready? When you open your box, it'll look like this, okay? They give you a nice little guide right here. Comes with a little newspaper that kind of talks about how it all works. At home handbook. Also comes with a receipt that shows you which glasses you are trying on. Uh -huh. Balance all in this. These are today's frames. Okay, so that being said, let me just cover up my address here. It also, on the other side of that little receipt, you get your mailing label. All you do is try on the glasses, which are all in little plastic bags. Let me get rid of this paper. Try on the glasses, which are in these little plastic bags. You close it up, put some tape on it, smack your label here, and you put it in a mailbox, any mailbox. Uh, if your boxes fit in your neighborhood's mailboxes, kudos to you because my neighborhood, I don't know what the deal is, but the mailboxes only open like this much. It's very, very, very annoying city. Please fix it. So I have to like drive to a post office, but I don't mind. It's fine. All of this, by the way, is completely free. And... They do ask for a credit card just to put, I think it's like a $1 hold on your account. Of course, if you never return the glasses, I'm sure they charge you for them. But I have never had that happen. So first pair we are going to try, actually pause one more second. Okay, this is the pair that I got that has my actual prescription in it. These are the Lita uh, in, I think it's called like black current tortoise or something. I like the little detail how it pokes in here, sort of a cat eye, but honestly, I don't know what it is. I'm just not really feeling them. <sighs> and they're $175, just so you know, with prescription to get a pair of glasses. I had saved up all year through a flex savings account, so had to spend the money rapidly, which is why I produced all of these videos because I just figured why not? I like to shop online. And I've noticed that a lot of the glasses are out of stock, so maybe this will help you. Now, these are going to be the Aubrey. Which these are. Okay, so here's what they look like. Sometimes, see, and I think this is the thing. I think I, think I like the glasses I have when my hair is down, but I tend at least lately, when I'm wearing a mask and everything and like out in the world, I have my hair up. So let's just see. Please excuse this pimple on my forehead. All right, so these are the Aubrey. Hmm. I kind of like them, but they're not for every day. So I don't think that they're gonna be the pick but I love I do actually really like the colors um, colors of that and that was the Aubrey I like the marzipan tortoise I definitely do now this next pair is gonna be I 
the Nancy, and this is in Cognac Tortoise. I'll link the last video I did up here, or the last couple up here for you guys, because this is number four. This one is primarily sunglasses though. Not primarily, it is only sunglasses. So these are the Nancy in Cognac Tortoise. Again, I really like these, but I'm not sure that they're everyday sunglasses. I think that I will think that they're overly buggy. I don't know if this is focusing either. Okay. Nancy. Honestly, I kind of like those. They're kind of like, you know, old Hollywood, which I've always kind of liked. I also have really sensitive eyes and I don't really care for a lot of sunlight. So I do tend to go with bigger set frames. These are gonna be the Raider and they're aviator styled. This is what they look like. I don't know, I don't know. See, I feel like No, I don't, I'm just not a fan of this. It's hard to say. Anyway, if it's hard to say, they're probably not the ones, so. Goodbye. That was the Raider in polished silver, which I would definitely not get the silver either because I'm not a silver girl. Now, these next ones are going to be called... The Griffin. And all of this stuff I will link below per usual. I am not paid by Warby Parker. I'm just a loyal fan who's been buying their glasses uh, probably since they came out, which I would guesstimate was sometime in like 2010 or so because I remember I was at my first real job when I found them. So these are... Oh, Again. Okay, I don't know if this is an issue that is being caused due to quarantine and like slow mail or you know them not touching the glasses to let them sit long enough to get the coronavirus off them. But this is really, I'm, st I'm just starting to get like a moderately infuriated. This says the Griffin, okay? Clearly says Griffin. This is why I recommend every time you check the inside of the frame. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Beal. Beal is not Griffin. Let's look at them. I already hate them because of all of this process. Rosemary Crystal. These are the Beal, not the Griffin. Please ignore the bag I just showed you because they keep sending me the wrong frames. It's really frustrating. I don't even know what I think of them. I don't even know. Let's try it with hair up. I just wish. Why is my camera not focusing? 
annoyed because I put kind of like these for some reason. Let me just put on the ones that I own. Hmm. I don't know, they have like a similar vibe, but these ones are like flatter. So, I don't know. What do you think? I don't really have time for your opinion, but mostly because I, if I'm gonna exchange these, you get 30 days to do it, I need to do it in the next few days. I don't know, I kinda like these. I'm, I'm, hey, that's ironic. I'm really mad about the bag situation, but Maybe they just like knew. They were just like, these are the ones you need. The universe is giving me them. All right, last one. Gemma. Okay, Let's see what she looks like. See if she is who she says she is. In fact, she is. So these are Gemma, it says Lapis Crystal. They're very blue. I don't know if it's gonna translate on camera. So, this is what they look like. I probably could have better lighting, huh? I don't know. I tend to like these because I feel like my eyes are totally, I feel like I'm in the dark. But I think they're a little bit overwhelming on my face but I do like this um, thick side frame so let me just do my hair up one more time I've got to get a haircut actually I think I'm gonna do it at home um, I've done it before so don't worry okay so this is Gemma I don't know I'm gonna have to take some selfies and uh, work through this uh, it's just hard to say. Yeah. Um, I guess that's my last tip to you guys is that one thing I found really helpful in choosing a pair of glasses is making these videos. When I edit them, I often feel differently than I do when I'm recording them because my screen's tiny. When the screen's big, you can kind of see how it looks better. But I also go ahead and take little photos of myself like little selfies wearing them which you know I do this in painting too it just helps like it gives you a different perspective than your own eyes your eyes trick you sometimes so I'm gonna try that I'm gonna take photos of myself in the glasses see if that changes my perception and then I'm gonna make a choice and I'm gonna give them a call okay so that being said the only other thing I wanted to mention is that you do, you get to keep these for five days to make up your decision, which is nice. And this is more for me than for you, but they tell you to use, oh my God. I started putting crossword puzzles in. <laughs> I love this brand. I think I'm like absolutely their exact customer. So what I'm not seeing is what I'm looking for, which was the hashtag that they asked you to use because there's so many out there. And every time I'm uploading stuff or putting it on Instagram, I can never remember. It's so funny. It now appears that they're not including it in here. Very bizarre. So, huh. Usually they ask you to share. Whoa, but they now have personal personal stylist. I see. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh -huh. So the hashtag one should use is hashtag Warby Home Try On. And this is a very cool new update that they have, which is that you can send pictures to help at Warby Parker. Or you can call and their personal stylist can weigh in. Guys, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this today. I'm gonna also mention to them again that I keep getting the wrong glasses in the bags. So 
hopefully we can get that um, issue shaked out. But um, yeah, so that's really cool that they actually wanna help me choose my glasses because you guys will not see this in time. But I do look forward to unveiling my final choices with you eventually. And yeah, so then once you pick the ones you like, you order, you send them back, and then you kick up your feet and you just wait. You also have to upload your prescription and it needs to be current, by the way. Uh, so that being said, thanks for watching if you watched. I understand if this is not your jam also, but I'm into shopping online. So it's my jam. Anyway. I will see you guys in the next video. I upload videos every week. If you like this video, go ahead and like below. If you have an opinion on the frames, comment below and try to guess which ones I end up with. If I change it all, who knows? We'll see what the stylist says too. Very curious. Please notice how even though I've made a mess, I'm gonna take the time to help future buyers out by looking at the inside of the glasses, finding the proper bags, and putting the glasses back in them. And one of them will be wrong. We know why. It's because the wrong ones were delivered. The Beal is in the Griffin bag. Can't even really check on the Raider ones now that I realize because they don't really have an inside. Hmm, that's tricky. All right, so. Everything is back in the bag. I personally like to take a little picture of the frame names, which I will need to retouch because it is the Beal. What? Oh, that's really weird. Okay, so they just sent the wrong bag. This shows the right glasses. They simply put the glasses in the wrong bag. I just don't understand. Why would they do that? <laughs> I guess they just want me to have to return them. I don't know. Anyway, everything's in there. You go ahead and throw in tear this apart, you put your return label in there, close it on up, I'm going to get a piece of tape, one little piece of tape like that. And then future yourself, please cut this out if you can see my address. Then we just put on the new label. That's it guys. These are ready to go back. good week okay and please make sure you've ordered your online ballots or your mail at home ballots even though the president is trying to discourage you from doing that voting is going to be really important this year all right so have a great day